Hey guys, this is Michael Chin, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up one of my favorite day trading charts on Thinkorswim. If you're unfamiliar with my day trading strategy, go ahead and check out some of my live sessions that I've posted above. All right, so we are on a simulated trading account on Thinkorswim, and this is the default screen that you're going to come onto if you were to hit the charts tab. So it is a blank screen, and the first thing we're going to want to do is we want to type in my favorite equity, which is going to be the S&P 500 futures. That's what I mainly trade on. So let's come up here to the ticker box, type in slash ES, hit enter, and that will bring up a chart of the S&P 500 futures. Now, the first thing I see when I look at this is it is a mess. There is no way I'm going to be trade this as a price action trader who likes to look at each one of these bars. It this is confusing and I would be bound to make mistakes on this kind of chart. So the first thing I want to do is I want to clean it up. Now we can come up to the gear up here, which is the chart settings button. I'll click this and it'll bring up a lot of options that we can apply to the chart. So the first thing I want to do is I want to hit this appearance button, come down to this grid tab, and then I will uncheck it. So when I apply that, you'll see that all the grid lines will immediately disappear. That makes things a lot cleaner. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to get rid of some of these vertical lines. And a lot of these vertical lines have to do with the futures contract. So let's come to the futures tab because this is a futures contract we're trading. And then we will want to take out the show contract change events. These will take out all of the green lines that show when the contract rolls over. So we'll hit apply and they are gone now. Now we'll also want to be taking out the open interest and that is this teal line you see here that makes dips every now and then. So we'll hit apply and that is gone. And then we will take out the volume subgraph because as a price action trader, the volume is already factored into the bars. So we don't actually need to see the volume down here. So we'll hit apply and that is gone too. So now this chart is looking a lot better, but there are still a few lines on them. So let's come over to the time axis where we'll be looking at this display area. And now you see that there are three boxes checked here. We want to take them all out. So we will take out the expiration Fridays. That will take out all these red lines. We'll take out the year marking lines, which will take out this gray line. And then also this rollover lines. You don't see any of them on the screen right now, but this will ensure that the chart is cleaned up for the future. So we'll hit apply. And now when we hit OK, we have a really clean chart here. This is easy to see what the bars are doing. It's easy to read the price action. So it is a lot easier on my eyes. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to actually bring this to a 2000 tick chart. That is the time frame I like to trade. You can trade whatever kind of time frame works best for you. But for me, that is the 2000 tick chart. So we will come up to the time frame settings up here. And by default, it is going to be a D for a daily bar. I will hit this go over to this time frame tab. And now we want to look at the aggregation type. So by default, it is set to time, but I want to move that to tick. And that's going to change up some of the options here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to move this time interval to either two or three days. So this will show us how many days we are looking at. And sometimes when you're price action trading, you want to look at the previous day to give you some help on what the trends might be doing for the next day. So two days sounds good to me. You can also go three if you want to look back further. And then we will come down to this aggregation period here. And we want this to be the 2000 tick charts that we want to see. So type in 2000 there. And now if we want to review this one more time, aggregation type tick time interval two to three days based on your preference and then aggregation period 2000. So let's hit OK there. And this will bring up the 2000 tick chart, which is the chart that you see me live trading on my live scalping series. Now, one thing to note is that every tick chart is different. And this is because the data will be streamed to you differently than it is to me. So your tick chart might look slightly different than mine. The prices and the trends are all going to be the same, but some of the bars may appear differently for you and differently for me. And so that means that you might get different setups than me and I might get different setups than you. But at the end of the day, the prices never lie and the trends are always the same. But keep that in mind, though, your chart might look different. So now that we have the chart up, the last thing we want to do is we want to add that 21 exponential moving average, which helps me see where prices are trending, right? If they're above the EMA, then I like to say that they are bullish. And if they're below the EMA, then I like to say they are bearish. So we will come up to the studies tab here, hit edit studies. 
And then you, as you can see, there are no current studies on this chart. So we'll go to the search tab, search for the moving average exponential. And by default, it'll bring up the moving average exponential for nine days. We want to have that for 21. So click it down. And now the length is 21. Sorry, I've been saying days, but since this is a tick chart, it is now for 21, 2000 tick bars. I've just gotten used to saying days, but it's actually ticks on this chart. So we are bringing up the 21 length, 2000 tick bar EMA. And now we have it all set up. You can change the color for that if you come back to the studies. Let me show you, double click this again. And at the bottom, there's this teal color. This will change the color for this line, but I like to use teal. It's fine for me, but again, it's up to you for a personal preference. So let's hit apply. And now our chart is ready. So the next thing we wanna know is how are we actually gonna take our trades? Well, for us, the best way to take a trade for price action trading is with the automated trader because we already know where our stop is gonna be and where our exit is gonna be. So with Thinkorswim, that is going to be something called the active trader and you will find that on the tab to the right here. So we'll come over and click the active trader tab. And I know this is some weird thing, but it like messes up the chart. I'll have to quickly fix it, set this back to a 2000 tick chart. There we go. Hit right click, auto zoom. This will zoom us out. There we go. And then I'll zoom us back in just so we can have better clarity on what these bars are doing. So we now have the active trader tab up, which allows us to place quick orders on the chart we're looking at, which will be the S&P 500 futures. And as you can see, there is a price graph of all of the points of where you could enter. So currently the S&P 500 is trading at 3,370. So that is highlighted gray. And you can see some of the buy orders and sell orders that are coming in. So what we want to do is we want to build our automated strategy and that automated strategy is going to profit on one point and it's going to have a stop loss at two points. So this is something really cool we can do on Thinkorswim and it will help us make trade management much easier. So I will hit this sh uh, show buttons area. It's going to be this uh, little arrow right here. Click it. It'll come down. And now we have a order tab. So what I want to do is I want to create an automated strategy. I will come over to template, hit trigger with bracket. And now you can see that we are building a order template. So when we put in an order, this trigger will automatically happen. And what we want to have is this first line is going to show us that we want a one point profit, which by default it's already set to. So that's great. And then on the bottom line, it's going to show our stop loss. So we want it to be a stop on two points. So let's move this down to two points and there we go. So now we have our classic order for a one point profit on the scalp and a two point stop loss. So I can click this save custom order template and I can name it. So we'll call it Michael Chin scalp. And now we have a template ready to go. I can hit the auto send. If I don't have the auto send, then when I do want to place an order, it's going to ask me for confirmation. But when you're price action trading, things happen really quickly. So you want to make sure auto send is on. And now let's see how it works. So let's say I wanted to buy at the market. Let's just say I wanted to buy at the market. Then we would get filled on our order. And as you can see, we already have the one point profit target up here and we have the two point stop loss automatically in. Now, in addition to helping with our trade management, this automated order is also gonna help us get into the trade faster. So let's say you were doing this manually, then you would buy your position and then you would put your stop limit in maybe two seconds later and then you would put your stop loss in, you know, uh, second later after that. But if you did this automated strategy, the moment you enter this trade, you are already queued up for that one point profit. So if you think about it, let's say there were 5,000 other people that also put in their order to sell at a one point profit. Well, then you are guaranteed to be in that top 10%, which means that when prices come up to, what is this, 33, 71, 75, if only 50% of those contracts get filled, but you're one of those top 10%, you know you're gonna get filled for that one point scalp. And so if prices were to reverse and go against you, you'd be fine and you'd be safe because you'd be out of the trade. So that's a big advantage of using one of these automated systems. So let me close this position 
uh, this is after hours right now, so prices aren't going to really move. We're not going to really be able to see how these targets get hit because I want to show you how to build the runner, which is one of the more lucrative strategies when you are price action trading. The scalp makes us good money, but sometimes that runner can go on and swing forever. So I will flatten here. So automatically sell my position. And then I will move the quantity up to four so that we can have enough room for a runner. So I'm going to build a new template. And instead, this one is going to be triggered with two brackets instead of one. So hit the trigger with two. And now, as you can see, when we place our order, it's going to fire two triggers this time. So the first trigger is going to be like normal. This is going to be the scalp. And I want to set it to three of the four contracts. And it's going to come out at one point. And again, the stop loss is going to be at two points. So this is like the same thing we set up last time. The scalp has a one point profit and a two point stop loss. But for the second contract, we are going to keep the two point stop loss. But instead, we're going to move the profit target up to some high number, let's say 10. And so what that's going to do is when we do put our order in, so let's buy market again. You can see that we have the one point scalp up here. We have our four stop loss contracts, but then our runner is way up here. So when we do get that one point profit, we can then manage the runner however we like. And the way you can do that is you can use that on the chart. So you could click on this, move it up or down, however you like, and the order gets changed. And the stop loss too, when we do get our one point scalp, then we can move the stop loss up for break even. I don't want to move it up right now because then it's just going to get filled, right? Because the prices are at the market or they're even below. So you can move these however you like and adjust them how you want to manage that position. And that's it for this video, guys. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and check out my live scalping series where I'll show you how to make a profit using this exact chart. And if you have any questions about how to build this chart, go ahead and post in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Happy trading.